we are two weeks into the NFL season, and there's a couple teams out here that have actually shown to be pretty good, or actually have reeled off a couple of wins uh, to start out the season. And one of those teams is the New York Giants. Now, I got to preface here by saying that the Giants, you know, the first one was against the Titans, and if I'm being honest, you know, we, we, before we get into this, I just have to say I want to take a look at this. Like, I, I want to take a serious look at how good the New York Giants can actually be, because. I do think it's an important question to ask when you consider the fact that they are a, a team that's got a new head coach, they've got a new GM, they've got really a new culture that's coming into this thing. And, you know, you got to take that part of it is, you know, looking at who you've beaten uh, and, and let's uh, looking at and where you're at and how far you've come already. And I think the Giants, you know, first off, Saquon Barkley is still a stud. I, I don't think we can debate that. I think that honestly, he's going to, uh, I, I think he's in the running for comeback player of the year. I don't think there's a question. And I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to put it a little bit out there actually. I think he could, if he continues to run the way he does. Now, I know week two was a little bit of a slower week, slower week. But if he continues to run the way he does, I think he could be at least look at beating uh, the all-time uh, rushing record for a single season. I think it's possible. Like, the the first game uh, there against uh, the Tennessee Titans for me really showed that, okay, he's still, he still got it. Like, nothing is lost here. Um, and he's surrounded by a bunch of weapons. Like, the, the Giants have a ton of weapons as well. I, I apologize if it's hard to read. But, you know, Wandale Robinson, I know, uh, I believe he is out for, uh, was out for this last game. I, uh, and also Daniel Bellinger, I believe, also caught his first touchdown. Congrats, by the way. Uh, but you got Daniel Jones, who I think has kind of shown some good things. Like, I think... Um, that you know you've got a young quarterback that's uh, continuing uh, continuing ish to be molded by uh, by Brian Dayball and company so you know and plus you also got Tyrod Taylor there as a really good backup plan and you know Kenny Galladay Kadarius Tony so there's talent here and then defensively yes Kayvon Thibodeau I think he's going to come back uh, in the next couple of weeks and I think he's going to be something to watch here but uh, I, I think especially for a team like the New York Giants um, you have to really look at where they've been and where they've gone so uh, we'll bring you here uh, there we go okay so you see here a little bit of the preseason so obviously they got the win over the Titans there in Week One. Um, honestly, Saquon Barkley was the he was the man in that game. But at the same time, you know they they go into the, they go they play the Panthers, and I really feel like the Giants. Um, when you look at them at all levels, I, I do think that there's some building pieces here that, I mean, is there a way that they could sneak into the playoffs? I wouldn't put it past them. You know, a, a lot of times we've seen coaches that come, look at the Browns, for example. We've seen uh, changes in coaching uh, that are able to get the most out of quarterback, quarterbacks, that are able to uh, use the best of the personnel on the team. And I think that, to a degree, is Brian Dayball. And now, am I saying that Daniel Jones is going to take the Giants to the playoffs? No, but I'm saying it's possible. We can't just come out here after two wins um, against two teams in the NFL because it's hard enough to win in the NFL. The Titans literally literally were in the playoffs last year, and I know they're not necessarily the same team now. Uh, the Panthers are somewhat of a mess. I understand that now, but when we consider the question of how good the Giants can actually be, I think when you, any time in the NFL, when you can get on a couple-game win streak, especially to start out uh, the first two weeks of the NFL season, you got to take notice. Uh, so uh, as far as how good they can be, I think that they're uh, a team that is up and coming for sure. Uh, you know, I think that these uh, this draft was really big for them, you know, getting Evan Neal, Thibodeau, and all those guys at Wandell Robinson. But I think moving forward, you know, right now, if I had to put, if I had to be a bent man and put it all on the table, I would say that there's still a 500 team, uh, but their potential is there uh, with Brian Dable and company. Now, again, don't know if Daniel Jones is going to be that guy, but I am not going to put it past him because uh, – there is no telling what good coaching can do in the NFL, especially when you have a lot of talent like the Giants do. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about how good can the New York Giants be.